Hello there! Welcome back to another mosaic recipe video. Today we'll be making tucker, a tamarind desert. So the first thing that you have to do is taking your tamarind and uh, soak it in lukewarm water. These tamarinds you can get it in supermarkets in packages. So you soak it in lukewarm water and you remove all the seeds in the paste so that you're left only with tamarind pulps. You then use a huge karai like this. If you don't have a karai, you can use any other cooking pan that you have, but make sure you use a big one. Um, then adding my canned tomatoes in the oil and you keep stirring it so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. So takar is usually um, an Indian desert, like I said in the beginning. Um, served in Indian marriages, weddings, and we Martian really love to eat this. And I would say you can find it in uh, many Indian households on the island. So that's one of the recipes that I personally really love. So when the tomatoes are cooking, I'm then adding around two to three tablespoon of cumin. These are roasted cumins that I've added. Um, you can actually roast the cumin that you get in supermarkets to really bring out this flavor out of the seeds. I am then adding some funnel seeds in um, the mixture. Here I'm adding more funnel seeds compared to the proportion of cumin. I'm adding around six to seven tablespoon of funnel seeds. This actually depends on your preference. If you want it less, you can add less of it. I am then adding um, two cinnamon sticks. These two will enhance the flavor. So here, as you can see, I'm just breaking the cinnamon sticks in smaller pieces. I am also adding five to six dry red chilies. This too, it depends on your preference. If you like it spicy, you can add more, or if you like it less spicy, then add less. Um, then giving a good stir, and I'm letting those spices really cook and mix well with the tomato paste, so that you really bring out the flavor and the taste, as well as the smell out of these spices you can also add in some water if you feel that the mixture is sticking um, to the pan and just make sure that you keep an eye uh, while it's cooking so that it does not stick and you don't want the spices to be roasted or you to get the burnt flavor because we don't want that I am also adding a teaspoon of cardamom powder. So cardamom powder is one that I really love to add in those deserts so as to bring in more of the taste, um, the smell as well. It really smells so good in the kitchen whenever I'm using cardamom powder. So you just add in a table, uh, sorry, a teaspoon of it and you just give it a mix. One of the reasons why I've added it at the last um, after adding all the remaining spices so that it is a powder and I don't want it to burn or I don't want to lose the good smell of it so I'm adding it at the last after the cardamom powder I'm adding the tamarind sauce that we preserved so these as you can see it's only the paste and the pulps there's no seeds in there because we don't want any seeds while you're eating so you just add in the tamarind paste and you give it a good stir. Make sure that you mix all the spices that you have in the pan well with uh, the tamarind paste. I am also adding a tablespoon of pink Himalayan salt. I am adding this to 
complement the tanginess of the tamarind paste. Um, it is usually recommended to add in your salt because I'll be adding sugar as well. Uh, for the sugar, as you can see, I'm adding around 2 cups of brown sugar. Here I'm opting to use brown sugar instead of white sugar because white sugar is really sweet. And if you're using white sugar, definitely then reduce the amount that you're adding in the tucker. You can use one and a half cup, or if you really like it sweet, then you can use the two cups. But uh, make sure that you add not too much of it because you don't want it to be caramelized. One thing, and if you're conscious or have conscious, or you have diabetic persons or people living in your house, so then you prefer use brown sugar and brown sugar is better in this um, recipe if you have if you don't have it then definitely use white sugar i'm adding the sugar um, in the mixture and you give it a good mix and you let this cook on a low flame and as you will see i am stirring it every four to five minutes so that uh, the sugar doesn't stick at the bottom or it doesn't become caramelized uh, on the wine part so you just want to mix it well incorporate well the sugar in the mixture and you let it cook slowly make sure we'll start to thicken up we don't want it to be runny so make sure that you keep stirring and uh, mixing well um, the paste in the pan so that it becomes of the same consistency as it is shown here so the water in tamarind paste is, is you know is soaked up and you really have a thick consistency of the paste so usually I Take my spoon and check the consistency if you just grab a little bit of it and you see that um, it's thick enough then you can remove it out of fire. This might actually take around 30 to 45 minutes so be patient. And here you have your tamarind sauce which is known as tucker and you can enjoy it with some paratas, puris or anything. Enjoy!